Today we celebrate the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Let us um, start the, the entrance song in this place. shelter and strength. We are one in our hurting. We are one in our pain. In our suffering and sadness, we are saved by the grace of the power and the Spirit that is here in this place. We are gathered at table as one in the Lord. We are gathered as people who are living the word. Our hearts and our spirits are nurtured by grace. It is Jesus who fills us. He is here in this place. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. Welcome you all to take part in this Holy Eucharistic celebration and thank you for joining us to celebrate this Eucharist. Let us begin in the name of the Father, Father and the, the Son, and of the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, so as we have gathered here as a God's family, let us acknowledge our sins. And ask our Lord, pardon and mercy and forgive us to take part in this holy Eucharist in his holy name. Glory 
to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will for you alone are the holy one you A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God besides you who have the care of all. That you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is a source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is believed. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by this deeds, that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, Lord, you are good and forgiving. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O oh Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O oh Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are good forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are God, merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity, Turn around, turn toward me and have pity on me. Give your strength to your servant. Lord, you are good and forgiving. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, spirit comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts 
knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up, the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning. But gather the wheat into my bonds. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Today, the scripture readings are speaking about the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. And it unfolds the mystery of the kingdom of God. If we see the first reading, which is taken from the book of wisdom, they show us God as a merciful and compassionate God, rather than punishing or angry God. If you would see in the book of Genesis, the book of Genesis presents God as a punishing God or angry God. But God, he loves everything, all that he has created. Because he is the one who created and the human beings were created in the image of God. Therefore, 
He loves everything. He doesn't hate anything in this world. But as we see in the first reading, that he shows us that God is so compassionate, so loving, and so kind, and he is so merciful towards everything. Because he is so powerful. And he is the master of everything. So wise. If you see in the second reading, St. Paul very clearly tells us that the Spirit of God is empowering every one of us in our weaknesses and it helps us the Holy Spirit is always with us and helps us in our weaknesses and it helps us how to pray even though we do not know how to pray the Holy Spirit helps us to pray we don't realize we don't experience we don't even recognize the Holy Spirit which is within us and with us. At the time of our baptism, God has given us a free gift that is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is given to every baptized person and the Holy Spirit is always guiding us and acting in us, in our hearts. So therefore, what we need to do is we have to realize and recognize the Holy Spirit which is acting in us. And the Holy Spirit always acting. Therefore, here in the second reading, St. Paul very clearly is explaining how that Holy Spirit is working in us. Yes, my brothers and sisters, if you take the gospel of today, the gospel of today contains three parables. Jesus proposed three parables. The first two parables speaks about the kingdom of God and guidelines. And the third parable, which is the wheat and the weeds, speaks about in a different manner that the how good and bad exist together. They are coexisting. But we don't understand. We don't realize that. Good and bad. They are there in the world. Not only in the world. They are there in us. In our human hearts. In our human lives. We don't realize that. But God says that be patient. You have to be patient until you realize or you recognize the good in you. Otherwise, we are not going to gain anything. We are not going to be rewarded by God. So as we see the gospel passage, the weeds stands for the unrepented sinners. They only show themselves selfishly and they make use of others for themselves and they don't recognize others as good. Always look at them or point at them as bad. When we point out and one with one finger but there are four fingers looking at us and showing us that we are also as sinners. But we are always conscious of others and their sins, but we don't mind about us. Therefore, we need to understand and we need to realize that good and bad, both are there. If you say, when there is a word, if you say that, yes, it is yes, and you will get the response, yes. If you say bad, and you would get the response bad because it is echoing. Likewise, it is there. They are both of them, good and bad, in us. And this wheat 
stands for righteous people. So as we have heard that the gospel passage, the enemy has come and sowed the bad seed, the evil one. But the slaves came to the master, the householder, and they told him that, how did this come? And he realized and said, this is the work of the devil, the work of the evil one. Then the slaves asked him, shall we go and uproot them or remove them from the field? He said, no. Instead of removing the bad ones or the evil ones, you may uproot the wheat as well, the righteous as well. So therefore, don't do it now itself. Let them grow together at the time of harvest. And I would ask the harvesters to separate them. And they will separate bad from the good. And I would ask them to make a bundle and put them in a fire. You see, how God is so patient. Because he is so kind and he is so merciful from the beginning till the end. We don't realize that. God's mercy is always there, but we don't. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, this seems to be like a, a small beginning because the Holy Spirit is working in that. It is the work of the Holy Spirit. So, what we need to understand is though good and bad are there, let them be together till the end of the time. When the time comes, and you have to realize that. You have to separate good from the bad. And everything, whatever is there, and that God is going to reward us. So therefore, my brothers and sisters, today, the Lord is asking us to act prudently, wisely, and choose the right thing. Not to uproot or not to take away everything but be patient because the Holy Spirit is with you and the Holy Spirit will help you and guide you in your life. You follow the guidelines of the Holy Spirit. If you would follow the guidelines of the Holy Spirit, you will be rewarded. If you are not, if you are following the guidelines of the devil or the evil one and your life will be ended in hell where there is a wailing and grinding of teeth. So at that moment, even if you realize nothing, to, nothing going to happen. So God has given us life in this world to live according to the will of God. Not according to our will, but according to the will of God. So let us ask the Lord's grace that we may follow his grace and his will and we understand him, his mercifulness, his kindness and his gentleness and his compassion and do accordingly what God has instructed us and what, how the Holy Spirit is guiding and acting in us. Amen. Let us profess our faith by reciting the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, 
the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to ju judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adorned and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit intercedes for those in need. Let us pray for them today. For all in the church who tend the fields of faith of those who believe, especially in places where professing their faith puts them in danger, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges, jurists, and others who render judgments, affecting lives in profound ways, that they may temper justice with mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have rejected the word of God, that through efforts they may return to God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace and resolve to root our weeds of intolerance and prejudice in our own lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are without work, for those without health coverage, for those whose lives have been appended as a result of the pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who died, especially Aloida Torrejos Cuevas, Glenda Jausian Valne, Anthony L. Fernandez, Alice de Mesa San Cilian, Cilian, Villarreal Demo, Jesus Manuel Ramos, Virginia Marufo, Efren Angeles Villanueva, and Rosalinda Villanueva. Let us pray to the Lord. God hear us. For all those who are sick, especially Lupita Corona, for the sake of our parish, and for all who suffer from COVID-19, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the living, through your spirit, you help us to pray as we ought. Hear these our prayers and graciously grant them according to your holy will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I call 
the grass of the field soon to wither turn to me oh turn and be saved says the lord for i am god there is no other none beside me i call my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name, over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <clears throat> holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, our church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Osea Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co haste to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy.
present with us and celebrating with us tonight. So God bless you all and you may have a good week. So we meet you once again next week, right? Hopefully. Share your experience with, you, with them and bring more, more people. Maybe next week should be full, right? Yes. God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as you then go, go in peace of Christ and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. from your slumber arise from your sleep a new day is dawning for all those who weep the people in darkness have seen a great light the Lord of our longing has conquered and night. Stay.